Hey, what's happening? Chris uh, Zary here from the Daily SEM. Um, just wanted to do this real quick because I see a lot of issues, people having issues, so I just kind of stumbled upon this today. It's pretty cool. Um, I like to use, I'm in Office 3, I have Microsoft 365. Um, I like to use Teams. I like to use it for myself. Even if you don't have a team, it's really good because it's, you know, ties into all your folders and your files and everything, and you can sync it all up in OneDrive, and it's all backed up, and you can make your own projects, and it's really good just, just for project management for yourself. But if you have a team, it's even, you know, can be even better, right? So I'm starting to build a team and get things really moving. And one of the things I'm doing here is I realized I got so many projects going on and I want to start moving things in and copying things over. And, you know, I've just kind of done stuff on the fly. So, you know, essentially what I'd like to do is I need a template. Like I want a one, you know, file structure with that has, and I'll show you in a second, that has all templates and files that I use. And then just basically have that, you know, as a channel in Teams and then basically, um, copy that over right so and, you know here and i started looking into a copy channel and teams channel template so you know looks looks like it hasn't been anything's really been going on it's been voted people are still talking about it so i'm like okay and then i actually just figured a way out to do it um which is kind of cool so uh what you can do is basically uh what you want to do here is okay let me open up file explorer right so a whole bunch of stuff in here hold this so this is my this is my sharepoint drive basically um in teams where i have clients so if you want to you have to sync these up if you don't know how to do that and you probably do if you're using teams um you know you'd basically go into uh the folder and you hit sync and we'll actually sync the teams fold the folder that's in your teams here it will sync it into uh, your file explorer so you can work in it normally and drag and drop and do all that fun stuff and it's all syncing and all it's all happy right so right now I have this like new client master, right? So, so this is the new client master folder. And then there, I just have backups that I take of, of their websites, images I use, reports, videos, a client checklist, a quick intake form, a website design intake form. So all this stuff, right? So essentially what I want to do, well, first I just want to click rename and copy that, right? So again, if you come in here, you know, and I have, I've, I've added certain things in teams first and then, you know, so, okay, sorry. Let's just do this. If you click here and hit, hit general and then go into files, right? And then you come up here and hit sync, that is gonna sync. So then this folder will show up in your file explorer, right? So that's easy. But what I was doing, I started just putting folders in here and starting projects. So I wasn't really using Teams, I was just using here. You just get so busy, you don't do it. So I'd put a folder in here like this new client master, but it doesn't automatically show up in Teams. So, you know, essentially what happens is, what I was saying is, let's say if general, you would think there'd be an option here to be like copy, you know, or do something, right? Which it doesn't do. But really all you have to do is you just come in the, uh, into your thing and you go add a channel and then you just make sure you just put the same name right so Matt, new client master that's the same name whatever you know permissions you're going to do you click add it's going to add the channel and then basically give it a couple seconds and then when you come in to click files it's going to find all your files bam there you go right so now you could essentially just go in here and you could change it to you could um you could edit the channel and just change the name you change it to like you know new client a whatever hit save right and now you can work, you know, in your in your new in your new client your new client A. All this stuff is is um you know is all default. There's nothing in here, you know. There's no reports. There's nothing in there because um you know it's all templated, right? And then if I want to do it again, I just come in here and I would just go add a channel, and then I would click on new client master, hit add, and the same thing. You're gonna come in here, and then your files are gonna be there. And then boom, you can rename it again. So pretty simple. It's a little, you know, I think eventually they're going to have a thing where it'll just be like copy new channel from this channel or whatever. But I mean, that's pretty darn simple. So I hope this helps you. Uh, give me some feedback. I'd love to hear if this helps you out. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.